Hello everyone, this is Apple at iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, feel free to subscribe on the right hand side, it'd be great. So we can have more individuals to see what your likes and dislikes are in regards of Apple. And also the education sites that we would be testing on to give you how to's and making things work. Like if it was an IEP, uh, you need to know Java and etc. Or even deployment. So what we're going to do today is go over through Apple Configurator version 2 and we want to change the wallpapers. I've gone ahead and downloaded these two wallpapers uh, from Googling it. They're the highest resolution I can find which is the 2000 by 4000 uh, and then we're going to go ahead and put them into the iPad. I have not tested this yet so I don't know if this resolution is going to be too high or if it's going to actually shrink it. So I'm going to go ahead and open Apple Configurator down here below. And you can see this is the reason why I need to change the wallpaper. Someone has changed the home screen and placed someone's face on it. As well as this one here has a different color as well. And we would like to keep standard of all of them. I'm not sure if there is actually a locking procedure to actually um, lock and stay with a specific uh, background, which would be great if that's possible. I have not come across it yet on this version. Uh, hopefully in the future versions they'll have something or some feature of that. So we're going to go ahead, you can go ahead and select on all of them or go ahead and select on the individual and change the wallpaper. So we're going to go ahead and do a perform a right click on the actual uh, iPad that you want to change. You want to select on modify. Uh, you can do device name or you can do wallpapers. We're going to do wallpapers. Then this comes up. You have the lock screen option and you have a home screen option. The lock screen, you can either just drag and drop it onto this little section area or as well as the home screen, or you can go ahead and select and choose your image if you wanted to, and you can locate the image that you're going to actually import. Uh, the other thing I've noticed here that we have a custom text. So basically the custom text is instead of it saying right here above where it says cart 17 S2, uh, it can actually be something else completely different. You can rename or so forth. But there's also another way to do that as well, is a way you could just cancel and just go up here. And as you can see, it changes so that you can actually edit the field. You can do that, but we're not going to do that right now. So we're going to go back to the wallpaper. We're going to do a right click. You want to select on modify. You want to select on wallpapers. And I'm just going to do the drag and drop option. I'm going to put this as the lock screen. Okay, it looks like it accepted it with no problem. It does have a resizing down here at the bottom. You can maximize it or you can shrink it. So we'll just leave it at the mountain showing there. And then for the home screen, I want to go ahead and change it and put the Apple logo here. That looks kind of nice. It looks great. So, and again, you have the ability to zoom and zoom out if you like. We'll leave it as that. It looks great. We're going to hit apply. And then this technically should be able to change this wallpaper of the person's face on the home screen into which would be the uh, Apple logo. Uh, again, these are you're looking at each of these iPads and each of the iPads you can see. Uh, there is something sometimes always different from one iPad to another. There you go. You see the background of that and which is great. Uh, but it, as for an example, you can see that this iPad here is completely different from this one. So if you would want them to all be the same, just go ahead and perform the right click, select modify, select wallpapers. You can still go with the existing what you have here or override them with another image. So we're going to leave everything the same. We're just going to go ahead and apply and we would like all these changes to be made to all the iPads that we have here listed of the 15 iPads. Give it a moment and let's see how this populates. Okay, it looks like it's done loading. Wow, look at that. So now that we can be able to have all our iPads having the same wallpaper, same home screen, which is great. Okay, well that covers over the idea of adding and including images for your home screen and your lock screen. Uh, your lock screen, you're not going to really see it here at this point. That's only when you actually see the device. But since the background worked successfully, I'm pretty sure that the lock screen would do as well. I will have to bring in an iPad at a later time 
and then we can update this video by doing a reflector onto the Mac to show you the wallpaper has changed. Well, thanks for visiting App What I Was Genius on the YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe down below. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, and how this video is, and any other future videos that you may request or would like to know about. Thank you.